Munich, a city with deep history, a strong quality of life, and above all, booming industry, where old school traditions of craft and local heritage meet unparalleled industrial design and tech-fueled innovation. Munich is a city built for entrepreneurs. That's why Pictet and Monocle chose this jewel in Germany's south as the setting for the sixth edition of our Entrepreneurs series. When I think of Brand Munich, there's probably a couple of cliches come into mind, but when you distill those, you get an extraordinary location. This is really the heart of, of Europe. I think one of the great frictions that you have in Germany is there's extraordinary innovation here, and, and this is a city where you do see a lot of tech percolating, but it's still Germany. And if you look at you know, why did this country do well while there was a crisis around the world, it's because Germany still made things, and Germany continues to make things, and this is very important. It's not just innovation, but I think it's also about creating, I think, the interfaces to engage with the rest of the world. In the Bayerischer Hof Hotel in the city's northwest, the region's top business minds discuss the local tradition of innovation and future business trends. One of those was Professor Dietmar Harhoff, director at the Max Planck Institute for Innovation and Competition, a Munich institution since 1966. Harhoff's research focuses on everything from intellectual property to industrial economics. He explains the local entrepreneurship scene. There are two patent offices, there are lots of startups uh, as a part of the venture capital community. Um, so it's quite a hub uh, in that field. Entrepreneurship has become a lifestyle of its own. It's a highly reputed one. Uh, 20 years ago, my students would want to go into consulting. And 15 years ago, they would want to go into investment banking. And 10 years ago, they started to want to become venture capitalists. And now they're finally entrepreneurs. There's old money, but people are investing in startups. Uh, there are family enterprises, and they are becoming increasingly open for um, getting in startups as, as, as sort of uh, movers, uh, as sources of new technology. Mark Eckert knows this well. Co-owner and CEO of luxury kitchen manufacturer Bulltaup, Mark joined the family firm in 2009. For Mark, entrepreneurship runs much deeper than the bottom line, and a long-term outlook is a must. People who work for a family company know that they work for something uh, which, which has yeah, also a long-term perspective, which, has, um, which is not a, a job, which, uh, but more a mission that you follow. And you have a family being responsible for the company, and uh, a family not, not thinking in, in short-term results or quarterly reports, but in the, in the long-term, you know, success of something. And the success, be it growth or, or, or EBIT, is always a result. It's never the cause. Everyone has a dream, everyone has a vision, and this has nothing to do with turnover. This has nothing to do with the financial figures. This has something to do with a very audacious goal that you follow and follow that goal. And not everyone who follows that vision is a local, according to Johannes Schwartz. Johannes is co-founder and CTO of Tato, the Munich-based startup behind a heating app for private homes and small businesses, launched in 2011. In the end, what matters is to have a great team. Munich is probably the most metropolitan city in, in southern Germany. So of course that's why Munich is attractive to internationals. And if you build a tech startup, you cannot just rely on local talent. You also need international talent. For a tech startup, I think Munich is a great place. We have actually big tech companies here. We have a great technical university. The European Patent Office is here. So I think it's a great place for a tech startup like Tado. If Munich is a great place for a tech startup, it's perhaps a perfect place for a premier luxury fashion store like Teresa and its e-retail spin-off MyTeresa.com. Susanna Bachin is co-founder of the brand. Our heritage uh, was a brick and mortar store, like for more than 25 years, and that could thrive in Munich, as Munich is a city in Germany that is, um, first of all, very open for luxury. Every major brand, as soon as they want to conquer Germany, they usually start in Munich. 
Good locations are always sought after and a lot of those things happened within the last 10 years. A lot of things have changed and uh, especially in terms of fashion retail, I mean there's not much that is missing in Munich. So people realize that there is a market here. And that's a sentiment that Picte and Monocle's editor-in-chief Tyler Brule share as well. Picte is a good partner for Monocle uh, for two reasons. Um, the, the first is uh, not just because we're a Swiss company and, and they're a Swiss company, but I think here you have a, an incredibly august bank which is, is really innovating. It understands and it recognizes that it's had to change the game, not just when, within the context of, of Swiss banking, but I think globally as well. The Munich edition of the Pictet and Monocle Entrepreneurs series brought new insights from the region's tech-infused startups, innovation institutions, and successful luxury brands. Munich is very much open for business, but our series is only getting warmed up. We look forward to see what the rest of 2015 brings.